friends, Dylan Bates here. Today we're gonna to be covering adjustment layers and they're super, super powerful for grading your entire movie really fast. You just have to balance the clips beforehand and then the grade can go across the whole thing. I use them every single day. I think you'll get a lot of use out of them. So I'm gonna show you how to actually make them in Motion 5, but don't worry if you don't have Motion, I will give you a download link down in the description and you can get it for free. Um, no sign up for email or anything, just a Google Drive download so you can use this in your everyday video making. However, I do believe that it's gonna take just as long to make it in Motion 5 as it is to download and install it. So you might wanna just tag along and learn something new in Motion. So once you open Motion, you're just gonna come down to the Final Cut title. From there, we are just gonna push open. Next, what we're gonna wanna do is come up here to where it says type text here, and we are just gonna delete that bad boy. Now, all we're gonna do is come up to file, save, and it's gonna create a new template for us. So we are gonna make a new category because this is its own thing, and we're gonna call it adjustment layer. After we've created that, we'll just call the template an adjustment layer. Then you can add a theme, I don't really see the point in it, and there's no need to add a preview movie. We're just gonna push publish. Okay, so that is made. Now we can just swipe on back over to Final Cut Pro and we will go up here to the titles. Now in the titles, we'll see that I added the adjustment layer. We can just click and drag and that will put this invisible layer above our video clip. Now I'm gonna show you why these are so insanely powerful. So I have three ungraded clips of my wife here on the beach and um, I want to color grade all of them. So normally I would come down here, push command six to open the color wheels and I would just do a little bit of grading. So we'll check our, our color balance here, get it nice and bright. And from there, after I've got the Luma balanced, I would go into the grade. So I'd add another color wheel and we can just do the classic teal and orange kind of thing. So real random kind of uh, look. I'm not, I'm not trying to do anything dramatic. And then I might add um, one more color wheel to add a shape mask. And we'll just do kind of a vignette thing. There we go. So I have this one clip graded but there's both these other clips that are not graded. And what's great about the adjustment layer is rather than copying the attributes of each of these and pasting it to each individual clip, we can actually get rid of that. We'll paste our grade onto the adjustment layer. And I will actually remove the grade I did on that first clip. So now this grade has been added onto all three of these clips, but you can go in and set your grade and then all you have to do is per clip do slight adjustments and it'll speed up your workflow a lot. Now you can see all three clips are graded. This is a terrible, terrible example. <laughs> Things are overexposed and whatever, but, but you get the idea and you can easily add, let's just say we want to add a LUT onto everything. So we'll do a custom LUT um, and we can go to the Explorer LUTs pack and now everything has got this LUT on it in just a few simple clicks. So it's extremely powerful. You can do all sorts of stuff with the adjustment layer. Um, pretend you wanna have a slow zoom from one clip to the other clip. You can have it zooming across the clips and it'll, it'll work equally or the one I use a lot is the letterbox. So we'll just click and drag the letterbox on here and we'll set this to the 2.35 by one. And now we've got a letterbox on our video. Really quick and easy and um, crazy powerful, but it just saves you so much time rather than having to go to each individual clip and set your you're great. Okay, so I just wanted to show you really quick before this tutorial is done on how to install the adjustment layer in case you weren't able to make it yourself. So all you're gonna do is download this uh, compressed file from Google Drive. You'll just click that, open it on up. And now we'll go into our finder, go to movies, motion templates, and then come up here to the titles folder. And you'll just click and drag that right in there. 
and you should be set. So that was how you make an adjustment layer, how to use it, and I hope that was a helpful, really fast tip for you. Um, if it was, I would appreciate it if you would like this video, share it around with anybody you think might be able to use it, and don't forget to subscribe with brand new videos every Wednesday. I hope to see you next Wednesday, and uh, stay healthy. Thank you.